I'm showing you how to get me to your client for Minecraft Java Edition 1.21.1. To get it, you want to head over to Me to Your Client's official website. This is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, on their website, you want to find the latest 1.21.1 version. In this case, there is only a dev build available. However, if there is, by the time you're watching this video, also a full release, then I highly recommend that you download that instead. Anyways, I can simply click on this purple button over here and the download will automatically start. Now to use me to your client, you do actually need fabric installed for Minecraft 1.21.1. If you don't have this or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link this down in the description below. Anyways, now as you can see, I have me to your client in my downloads and I can press on Windows and R at the same time. And then in the box that pops up, I want to type in app data just like that. Then hit enter or click on OK. And in this folder that is going to open up, you want to go into the roaming folder, then dot Minecraft, and you might need to scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. Simply drag me to your client right into the mods folder, just like so. And then you can close both of these up, open up the Minecraft launcher and launch fabric 1.21.1. So here I have Minecraft 1.21.1 with, as you can see, Meet Your Client Active, which is great. And I'll now just head into a single player world and I'll show you how to use this. So, as you can see, I'm here in Minecraft and I have a few things on my screen already and we'll take a bit of a closer look at those in a second. Anyways, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get started with this client if you want a full in-depth meet your client tutorial, then that is going to be linked down in the description below. Anyways, to use Meteor, simply press on the right shift button, and that is going to open up this area known as the click GUI. These utilities over here are all of the functionalities that this client has. You can click on them to turn them off, and you can click on them once again you can click on them to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. They'll be highlighted a tiny bit when they're active, as you can see. For most of these utilities, you can actually right click on them just like that. And then you're going to get a little bit of a customization menu. In this menu, it allows you to importantly set a keybind for a lot of these utilities. Simply set a keybind by clicking in this box, then pressing any key on your keyboard, just like that. And you can reset it with that button if you wish to do so. You can also click on this star over here and that will add this utility to, as you can see, your favorites list. If you hover over these utilities, it'll give you a brief description and that's going to be the same description that you get in the customization menu as well. Anyways, I can close this customization menu and as you can see, all of these customization menus are very different and some of these have, well, more customization than others. Anyways, that is basically it for this click GUI area. It's pretty simple to use and most of these utilities should be pretty self-explanatory. Anyways, as you can see, we do have a few other things up here as well that we can use. First off, we have a config area, which allows us to simply adjust the configuration of this client. Then we have a GUI or general user interface area. What this allows you to do is to customize the way that meet your client looks whilst you use it. And then here we have the HUD, which is the heads up display. In vanilla Minecraft, this is basically just your hotbar, your hearts, maybe your hunger, stuff like that. Meet your client, as we can see on our screen, adds a bunch of stuff to that. In this section, we simply have just a customization menu for the HUD itself. If you want to customize this, we can click on this edit button over here. And now, as you can see, we can drag around all these things that are on our screen. They will, as you can see, snap to each other, which is obviously great, as well as that they will snap to the side of your screen. Anyways, I can right click anywhere on screen, and that is going to add this thing right over here, which will allow me to add more elements. As you can see, this element is already active and I have two of them right now. 
Anyways, you can simply have something selected and then click on delete and that'll remove it. Maybe I don't want my position or coordinates, so I can just select all of those and delete them. This Meteor client logo, eh, I'm not a big fan of it, so I'm just going to delete that as well, and then I'll move all these up. For example, right? Anyways, this thing up the top over here, which currently says Discord Presence, is the array list, and that displays all active elements. Some people kind of get confused by this saying Discord Presence, and think it has something directly to do with Discord, but no, as you can see, when I enable utilities, they're all going to be showing up here, and sometimes it even shows extra information about the utilities. Anyways, I can turn off all of those. Back in the HUD area, you can also reset everything, as you can see, and you can also set a keybind to turn on and off the entire HUD, so everything on your screen. Anyways, there's also a friends menu. This simply allows you to add in internal meet your client friends by entering their gamer tag we have a macros area that allows you to create manage and set up macros and then finally we have a profiles menu in meet your client they're called profiles but these should often be known as configurations basically you can create a configuration and this configuration uh, will save all of the active utilities as well as their customizations so say i want to make a config where in a scenario that i have to shear sheep because i apparently do that often um, and then i can customize this and then i'll create the config or profile in this case and then i can simply enable that whenever i need to shear my sheep right or of course do anything play a specific game mode right these profiles can be exported and shared with, for example, friends, if I want my friends to share my sheep. Anyways, that is basically that for this area. But it isn't all that Meteor Client has to often. As you can see earlier, we got, well, a few messages in the chat over here, and Meteor Client actually supports commands. Similarly to how in vanilla Minecraft all commands start with the slash, Meteor Client commands start with the dot. One of my favorite parts of Meteor Client is the fact that the commands have, as you can see, autofill, which is just fantastic. It makes it so much easier to use, especially if you're not very familiar with using them. Anyways, I can simply type dot help in chat, and that is going to give me a list of all the commands that this client has and I can hover above them and it'll give me an exact description what this command can do for me. Now let's say you still don't know how to use one of the commands that you want to use. Well that's as I said not a problem because we have autofill which is absolutely fantastic of course. Anyways, for right now, that was basically that. If you want the full in-depth tutorial, remember that it's going to be linked down in the description below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.